Hey guys, this is kind of an impromptu little video. Today I have a family photo shoot with my husband and my son for my son's first birthday. So I decided I'm gonna show you the makeup look that I'm doing for a photo shoot. And I wanna go with the bronzy summer kind of look. So it'll just be a quick, easy, simple look. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, stick around. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna start with the Revlon Rose Glow, just because it's more of a illuminating primer. Now that that's tacky. Taking the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear and my Beauty Blender. I like how this foundation lets the glow from the primer kind of show through if you're not layering it too heavily. I have sparkles in my eyebrow and hair just from sitting here because of the last video I filmed. What do they say about sparkles? They're like herpes for children. That is not what they say, no. Oh, I don't even like that I said that. I just mean that the sparkles don't go away once you've used them. No one said my channel was appropriate. Okay, so for under eye, I'm using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Just a couple dots of that. One dot of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Using my Beauty Blender, I'll gently press that in. The excess goes on the eyelids. As always, I'm setting it with the Kat Von D Shade and Light and a dry beauty sponge. Sorry if I'm rushing through this. My husband's still at work. So when the baby wakes up, I have to get him ready for the shoot by myself. That sounded really bitter. <laughs> Thanks for making us money, honey. I'm doing my brows using the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. Okay, and then a quick tip to help keep them in place. Take a clean spoolie and some setting spray. Then just gently comb through them. Okay, doing the eyes. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. For the base, I'm just covering with the lightest shade, which is the one I can't say. Tempera, Tempera. The sushi shade. Speaking of which, I think I've had sushi three times this week. Two times? Three? I don't know, move along Justin. Okay, now I'm going in with a blending crease brush and the color Burnt Orange. Generally speaking, if I was doing this look and I wasn't having my photos done, I would use a bronzer here. But because I want the color to show up well enough in photos, we're using some actual shadows. I'm just putting that on in the crease and then blending. And I'm blending that shade pretty high up to my eyebrow. And then with the same brush, I'm going into the color Rustic. Swiping that in the crease. I just do back and forth motions to blend. Now on the lid, going in with the Hourglass Scattered Light, and this is in the shade Reflect. It's kind of like a champagne-y color. I just go in with my finger, and then I press it onto the lid. I usually start in the center of the lid and then diffuse it outward, and I carry it up into the crease above my lid a little bit. Okay, that's it for above the eye. Now under the eye. I don't know what to call this brush, but this is what it looks like. Going back into Rustic, outer corner to inner corner, putting it on and smoking it out. This is such an easy eye look, it is my go-to. That's it for the eyes, I'm just going to quickly do some mascara and false lashes and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, the eyes are entirely done now, so I'm going in with a cream blond blonzer. I'm going in with the cream bronzer, Fenty Beauty. This is in Macchiato. I am using a brush to put it on this time. I just felt like it was pretty light last time. And because we're going with a full on bronzy look and it's for photos, I'm okay with it looking a little bit heavier this time. A little down the sides of my nose. Okay, for blush, I'm using my Hourglass palette. Uh, it's the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad, the ghost one. And I'm going in with this shade, which is Infinite Nude. Okay, so because I want a little bit extra glow for this, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting in Luminous Light. So I put that on my cheekbones first. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go into the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. And because this is a little bit more intense, I'm just kind of gently dotting that on. So now I'm setting the parts of my face that I haven't set with a powder yet. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Luminous Powder and Brighten Up. And I mostly just do the center of my face. This powder helps to fill pores, I find. It has a blurring effect. So for my lips, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. Okay, 
And I'm just loosely filling in my lips. Oh man, my dog's upstairs starting to freak out, which could cause the baby to wake up, which could cause me to lose my shit. It's a domino effect, really. And I'm not gonna do a gloss, but I do want it to have a bit of a sheen, so I'm gonna throw a lip balm over top. Okay guys, this is it, the finished look. I know that was a pretty straightforward video, but hopefully if you're looking for this kind of bronzy summer look, this helped you out. I hope you found this interesting, or at the very least, I hope it helped you kill some time if that's what you're trying to do. And I hope to see you back at some point. Wish me luck with the photo shoot.